Matt Burton to make his origin debut in the centres. Stephen Crichton starts there. Obviously, no Stags, no Whiten. RP Corusau returns to the origin fold. He will start with a nine on his back. Damien Cook to the bench. Jake Trebojevic returns. He is also starting. Angus Crichton there on the bench. And Sifa Talakai to debut in jumper number 17. And I'm pleased to say in the Wild West tonight, it is the Blues coach and his star recruit, Brad Fittler and Arpi Coruscant joining us. Gents, really appreciate your time now that you're based over there. Arpi, I've got to go to you first. Congratulations on not being just back in the squad, but actually in the starting side and uh, reuniting with so many of your, old, uh, of your teammates uh, at the Panthers. They were great scenes over the weekend when you were told of the news. Yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, well, obviously it was, it was pretty special, you know, to get the call from, from Freddie. But, um, yeah, like you said, having so many of my teammates like, react like that, um, yeah, it made the moment even, even better. Freddie, just on starting Appy and putting Cook to the bench, was that purely because of the, the pen of combinations that he has or you, you feel like Cook can add something late in the game? Yeah, mostly that's the case, Gal. I think uh, it was pretty obvious we sort of got beat around the middle, I think, with Appy's craft. Hopefully we can speed our play the ball up a little bit and bring our players onto the ball. So, yeah, that's the mentality around that. Freddie, the Talakai inclusion, it's pretty exciting. I mean, his story is well documented. Um, we, we all love these kind of stories. And then to play Origin, how was it when you had that chance to speak to him and, and what are you expecting from him come Sunday? Well, it's been great watching uh, Sif had come through. His whole season has been great. And his, his actually season last year was also great. Um, it was pretty complicated because I was on the phone quite regularly to Christian Wolf. Uh, there's a uh, Tonga play in New Zealand. So uh, at the moment, there's a real uh, passion for Tonga and they're doing an incredible job. And the coach is leading the way there with Jason Taumalolo. So, you know, there was some sensitivity around what was going on there. But when I spoke to Sif, uh, he, uh, when I left the phone call, I knew he wanted to be a blue. And to give him a shot, he's got great versatility. He started the season in the front row. Uh, prior to this year, he's been a back rower, and now he's doing a great job in the centres. So uh, that was the real reason for his inclusion. Appy, you were a part of the squad last year. Didn't play in game one, but you would have watched it closely from the sideline. What did you feel about the game, watching it as a spectator? Yeah, um, it's probably the closest I've ever been to a footy match or definitely State of Origin. But yeah, I think just the speed, speed of the game um, and, and the intensity. You can feel the intensity. Um, everyone pulling off their shots, you know, running a bit harder, um, tackling a bit harder. So um, yeah, I definitely think the pace of the game was, was the biggest difference that I sort of picked up. I'll have to say on the back end of that, Gus, was uh, Epi sat in with the coaches up in the box. I asked him to watch a few things and uh, it was a good insight into his education of the game and that was part of the reason why I thought, well, we need to have him in there. He knows exactly what's going on, what was going right and wrong and he does it week in, week out. Well, Bradley, you elected not to go with two hookers in game one. Queensland did and I said before the game that probably gave them a strategic advantage with Harry Grant off the bench. The effect that he had, did that have an effect on this duo now linking up in game two, bringing Damian Cook from the bench? Are you looking for a similar impact on the game? Well, yeah, I thought their bench did a fantastic job. Um, you know, I think Carrigan also did a great job. Lindsay Collins was fantastic. They were the notable ones from my point of view. They were really good. So, you know, everyone coming off the bench has got to have impact. But I, I thought the game might have been different, game one. Uh, we went with a couple of bigger players through the middle. And as I said before, we just couldn't generate much speed around the middle of the field. They were very good, uh, Queensland. I thought they were outstanding. So. Um, you know, maybe they've taught us a lesson and you know, I'm going to combat that with having some smaller men around there and see if we can generate some speed. Freddie, it's a shortened week. You've got seven changes. Well, what's the week look like for you guys to make sure you're all on the same page by, by Sunday? Uh, it doesn't feel like there's that many changes. I know, obviously, um, we've got Matt Burden coming in for Katoni Stags, and that's you know, obviously combinations, but the ability to, to play in the halves as well if something goes wrong. And just changing a few smaller men for big men through the middle. We get Gus back, who's been part of the group for a couple of years. So I feel like everyone that's in the team uh, knows each other. I think we know how we want to play. And I'm feeling really confident already. 
Uh, Freddie, the, among the recall players, Jake Trebojevic. Now, that, we, we spoke pre-game one about the, how t the tough that conversation would have been for you. How much did you enjoy making the call to Jake and what's he been like on day one? Yeah, he's always very excited, Jake. He, uh, he's great. He's just great around the group. You know, we see it week in, week out. We see it in the way he plays, the way he talks, uh, the way he treats his teammates. And that's just the love he has for the game. So, yeah, it's hard, always hard leaving Jake out. I sort of felt like we had a, a couple of Jakes through the middle there, but then, you know, in hindsight, you can most likely never have enough Jakes. One of the things I thought leading into game one, and I said it here, was that there wasn't a lot of the Blues players who could individually make their own breaks. They're not tackle breakers in their own right. They, they're good in structuring with plays. Sifa Talakai and Angus Crichton can certainly do something on their own. They're ones that can, can bust a tackle open out of nothing. Again, is that what you're looking for from your bench? People who can come on and make an impact on their own? Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, that's why we went with Ryan Madison. What he's been doing with Parramatta is... You know, he's going to the line, he's offloading, he's going through the line. And if you watched Angus on the weekend, he went through the line a couple of times against Melbourne and, and Sif has been doing it now for a couple of years. So he's very robust, dynamic. And, you know, we're just, if we can get them good play the balls at the end of the day, um, you know, it doesn't matter how good your players are, unless you can generate a bit of speed and get them getting over the advantage line, one-on-one -on -one tackles, then it uh, doesn't matter who you got out there. So, but yeah, they're dynamic players and... We need to get them good play the balls. Happy the Fiji national team playing on Saturday. Have you got a message for the boys? Yeah, um, just wanted to wish them all the best. You know, they're coming up against a Kumul team who always play hard and, you know, hit very hard as well. So I uh, just want to wish them all the best and they have all my love and support. Good on you, Happy. Well said. Love the bucket hat too. We'll let you go, gents. Catch you in a few days. Thank, Thank you. you.